Chesh and welcome to the next video on my channel. I hope I pronounce it at least a little bit well because I literally listened 100 times to the Google Translate version of the word, but I always think like, ah, I sound a little bit off. So let me know down in the comments below if I did it well or not so well. Today we are um, reacting to the video 15 things you didn't know about Poland. I mean, you probably did know them, but I, of course, didn't know them. So yeah, check it out. It's from alix.com, big channel. And yeah, let's go. Every Tuesday, <coughs> we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Poland. Yeah. Welcome to alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers. It's time to take a virtual tour of Poland. Today, we're taking you on a trip to one of Eastern Europe's most beautiful countries. Central Europe. As many Central already... Europe. I learned this in the last video. No, by now, Poland has been a major player wow. in modern history with their implication in the world wars. Due to their location and their Jewish community, they are by far one of the countries that suffered the most in the early 1900s. Although nowadays most people visit them because of the concentration camp museums, there's so much more to Poland than just post-war trauma. It's a vivid country with welcoming people that carry the Eastern European mark, medieval architecture, and lots of culture. Out of all of their 38 million citizens, over 80% of them. Yeah, I mean, every picture I look, um, yeah, I look onto is so incredibly beautiful. We have these skyscrapers that are, have this weird shape, which is incredible for an architect, I think. And then we have these old cities. Um, yeah, it's truly incredible go through university, but at the same time, they are very, very religious. Pope John Paul II was from Poland, and they take great pride in that. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that too. Please subscribe to this channel because we are a small channel. We are just started and every subscriber helps to push the video out to more people. And if you liked it, yeah, just click subscribe. And I mean, if you don't want it anymore, you can always unsubscribe. Okay, let's go. Graham at Alux. Besides a very tough language, a brutal history, and a lot of smart people, Poland is a hidden gem of Europe, and we're going to let you in on its secrets, beauty, and luxury. Let's get started. Number one. Many famous actors and directors are oh. of Polish descent. Have you ever thought about the backgrounds of the most famous celebrities? Not all of them are Americans or British. Many celebrities have a variety of roots, and if you haven't noticed that by their last names, the most notorious actors and directors are half Polish or of Polish ancestry. Emmy Award winner John Krasinski, Kristen Bell, Scarlett Johansson, Roman Polanski, or Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak are all Polish somewhere down the line. This shows how much talent and beauty Poland has to offer to the world. Number two. Yeah, I have to say I'm not so much into films. Um, of course, I'm a big Star Wars fan, but um, I'm not knowing every actor or something, and I heard every person of them, so they must be very famous. Fashion and beauty is really big in Poland. In Europe, Italy and France are the most notorious players in the beauty and fashion industries. The biggest and most luxurious brands are located there, and most people forget about the others. Take notice, because some big brands we all know and love are actually from Poland. Starting with beauty, Inglot Cosmetics, that recently launched a collection with JLo, was founded in Poland. Max Factor was founded by a Polish woman, and Helen Rubinstein founded a brand that was acquired by L'Oreal later on. Fashion-wise, Reserved and Mojito are two Polish brands. Number three. This again is not my best topic, I have to say, um, but I heard something like Max Factor and L'Oreal, uh, of course. Um, yeah, I, I can't say many things about uh, fashion or beauty brands. They still kiss hands when meeting yeah. ladies. 
Basic manners have changed so much over the years. People nowadays shake hands or kiss on the cheek the most. There used to be a time when a man would kiss a lady's hand when meeting her as a sign of respect and courtship. If you're not a member of the royal family, then you may not be so familiar with all these habits, but in Poland, they're still pretty common. Here, men will still kiss a girl or a woman's hand when meeting her, and even though it might seem bourgeois, it's cool. It's simply good manners, so get used to it. Um, let me know in the comments down below, is it also for teenagers or is this a little bit more for older people? Because, okay, here we see much um, politicians. Um, by the way, that's Trump, that's not even Polish, but okay. Um is it more for the older people and in a formal context or do you really do that like when you're meeting up with friends or something like that? <clears throat> Number four, there aren't too many immigrants. We all learn about the world wars in history class. There is a lot of movies, books, documentaries, and so on about the horrors that happened. Since Poland suffered the most from genocide, some of the after effects still haunt its citizens. Nowadays, Poland is a very homogenous society where people look at you very curiously if you're black or Asian. And for that reason, there isn't too many African or Asian migrants there, not even in the bigger cities. Unfortunately, it'll likely take a few more generations for them to fully recover and be more inclusive. No. It had this undertone that also Polish people don't like immigrants, but I don't want to uh, assume that just from the wording. Is it like that, that immigrants are seen as not welcomed or is it just particular immigrants? For example, I heard from the last video that Ukrainians and Hungarians are very welcome probably. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I can just say about Germany, we have like a little bit of this sort thing. We really appreciate like European um, immigrants, but it's like more of a cultural thing that we don't appreciate so much like um, Syrian or from Arabic country Im immigrants, at least the older people in our country are very against it. But for example, if you are fr from Sweden or from France or something like that, you are very welcome, I think. Number five, the richest man in Poland has a net worth of $3.7 billion. If you didn't know this already, Poland is pretty much among the fewer countries that dodged the financial crisis of 2008. Even though the crisis was not that bad in Poland, there's still not the country with the most billionaires. The richest person in Poland is Sebastian Kulczyk, the son of Jan Kulczyk, the richest man in Poland. He inherited his late father's investment fund and now runs it with his sister, Dominika. He's now the president of the company and together with his sister, took over the $3.7 billion fortune. Number six. And um, yeah, I, I probably get it because you were part of the Soviet Union, so communist um, or communist um, central controlled economy and other things. So you you don't have so much time to to develop very very rich people um like the us for example which had 300 years time so i get why there are not so many billionaires um is it is it very like separated do you have lots of poor people and very few rich people or how is it in poland because that's like here in germany her luxury sports car was lost in france and found in poland through social media these days, social media can help with voting campaigns, help find lost people, raise money, and so on. For an Arab millionaire, it helped him to find his luxury sports car that was stolen by a fake company in France. It was actually more like a scam, and we're talking about a Lamborghini Aventador, which was one of roughly five models in a limited edition, costing around $500,000 each. The car was supposed to be safely shipped from Cannes back to London, but it never reached its destination. It was then when he posted on social media about it, and his 70,000 followers helped him track it down. The main suspect was a Polish officer who may have planned to take the car to Russia when Interpol caught up with him. Number 7. Poland wants more money from Germany <laughs> over World War II reparations. Yeah. We had this one in the last video, and it seems like every video mentions this, so you really want the money badly. 
Whenever something fishy happens in Poland that involves the whole EU, the conversation seems to always shift towards the world war losses. If Germany dares demand explanations from Poland officials regarding their behavior or changes, it backfires. Recently, some Polish officials demanded that Germany should pay post-war reparations because the 1.3 billion euros it was paid are not enough to cover 1% of the losses and damage they created. Unfortunately for them, Germany was highly punished for what they did during that time, and they may not get any more money out of it. 8. North Korea sent thousands of children to Poland in the 1950s. <clears throat> If you think that the World War was traumatizing for Poland, then you need to look a little more into their history. Being a former communist country, Poland had to take some favors from other fellow communist countries like Russia or North Korea. Back in the 1950s, when the Korean War started, Kim Sung II decided to send thousands of children to Poland, Hungary, and Russia to escape the war. Years after, they were deported back to North Korea, but as a new movie about the subject shows, they wanted to stay in their new homes. This movie is called The Children Gone to Poland. Number 9. A bunch of Polish mm. students invented the modern drug test. Oh, wow. Not bad. The first university in the world was established in Prague. A few years later, the second university was founded, this time in Poland. Nowadays, the tradition of culture and science still goes on in Poland, and we can see that just by looking at their achievements, without mentioning all the Nobel Prize winners and famous scientists. A group of students from Poland launched an app that helps people get tested for certain drugs. It uses the phone's camera to scan the eye for anomalies and other symptoms. So the next big thing in drug screening may just come from Poland. Number 10. Really not bad, and I really didn't know that. I thought like, I don't know, America invented this or I don't know, but Poland, really good. So does it mean that you don't have many drug problems or something like that in Poland because you have such a good, um, yeah, prohibition or testing system? Or is it just as bad as in every other country? The world's largest medieval castle is in Poland. It's so beautiful. Europe is full of old and beautiful. I have to look more up into the um, yeah into the different sightseeing spots and everything about Poland. So if you know a video for, um, about this topic, please let me know in the comments. I really appreciate that because, as I said in the beginning of the video, I see so many beautiful spots in Poland, and yeah, I just want to have a more grasp because we only see these little pieces. There's something there, 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 but um, yeah, I want like a whole thing. Castles. Poland was also a country that boomed during the Renaissance period, and even though it was severely bombed, the world's largest castle still stands strong. The Malbork Castle, wow. the world's largest medieval castle dating from the 13th century. What, what is are these into a beautiful uh, statues there? Are these like a gravestones, or what is this? Museum. If you want to feel like a king, you don't have to wow. move to France. There are many castles for sale all That's over Poland, so nice. with prices sitting modestly. I never saw Harry Potter, but this is like what I think Hogwarts look like. I don't know. It's so incredible. At six million dollars, number eleven. They have milk bars that are actually restaurants. Hmm. All over the world, restaurants are restaurants, taxis are called taxis, and hotels are called hotels. Yeah. This international convention is very useful, until someone decides to change that. In Poland, milk bars are not what they seem. A milk bar is usually a cafeteria-like restaurant where you can eat food and have a drink at a relatively low price. Hmm. Polish people prefer milk bars over fast food restaurants because the food is healthier and has a better price mm. for its value. Number That's 12. Nice. There so are is it more for poor people or is it for everybody but has a better price? <clears throat> Sand dunes in the north. Poland is lucky enough to have a sea opening. Although its landscape is not the usual palm trees and pristine beaches, it's still a great place to enjoy the sunshine. They have the Baltic Sea, which is not the warmest water, mm -hmm. but it's better than nothing. A pretty usual thing for that region is the fact they have sand dunes along the coastline. Because they're located in such a northern location, the dunes are blown away by the hard winds, and they actually move inland 10 meters each year. What? These sand dunes are unique in Europe and can be visited by anyone. 
So do you have problems that the Sandunes take over houses and villages? Or is it in case? And how do you make sure that you know that you're safe from the sand dunes? It's like a very weird title. Safe from the sand dunes. But yeah, how do you make sure that, that you don't get hit by sand dunes? Number 13. Polka dots and polka music are not from Poland. When you think of polka What? dots or the polka dance, you immediately attribute them to Poland. Yeah. Well, we're here to tell you that if you ever related the two of those, you're wrong. The polka dance is actually from the Czech region of Bohemia. Mm. The polka dots have multiple origins. They might be related to a Polish woman, but their fame and use dates are from the medieval times. No one really knows who invented polka dots and the name of the pattern. It can be Czech, Polish, or American. Nobody really knows. Number 14. You can't name your child whatever you want in Poland. Now that everyone is a fan of Game of Thrones and other famous series, the naming of a new baby has become way more interesting. Modern parents strive to give their babies the craziest and most unique names they can think of. In Poland, such behavior is not tolerated. You can't just go in and name your baby girl Daenerys. At the civil registry office, you'll be advised to choose a name that is appropriate, and you'll be given a list of names which are not recommended. If the name is too weird, they can refer Refuse to register your baby, and you'll have to go to court to settle it. Number 15. I think we have a similar law in Germany. I don't know the details, but I think something like you know have to know that uh, if it's a boy or a girl, and you can't do like the same names as l typical last names or something like that, and also you don't uh, can't have names that are very likely to be a cause of bullying later for I don't know. Uh, some swear words or something like that. Um, so, and I think it's a very good thing uh, because, yeah, it, it prevents um, some kids from harm. And also, I mean, you, if, the, if it's a good name and it's like not very common, you, the government probably will always allow it if it's not like very, very bad in some cases. They have a $7,250 <coughs> vodka. Wow. Vodka and Poland work very well together. <laughs> They've been well-known vodka lovers and exquisite producers of this alcoholic beverage for quite a while. Polish people like hardcore alcohol, and they're not afraid to craft specialties and expensive concoctions. A few years ago, Poland launched a limited wow. edition of their Belvedere vodka called cool Belver bottle. Bears, exclusively for the Cannes Film Festival. It was a beautiful bottle design in collaboration with DJ Jean Rock for the festival's party. Is this a bear? They priced it at $7,250 per bottle, including the plexiglass bear that ah, holds it. it. Is a bear. Well, Alexers, that's all for Poland. You Polish as you move your finger yep. to you Polish people are some have something with bears, right? Or bears. Because I don't know. Last video I, I heard that you had a bear in the army here, always also bear. You have something with the bears, right? Um yeah, but <clears throat> was very good i i mean there were a few things that i already know because of the last video like the sand dunes but so many things were totally new to me and especially like the drug test um or what was the other thing Enough, but he or that um polka is not from poland is incredibly new to me and sh really shocked me because i don't know i never thought that it's not from poland <laughs> so Yeah, I hope you learned also something new. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below what are other facts that probably nobody knows about Poland and which videos I should react to next. And I hope I see you in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And yeah, until then, bye. And like, don't forget to like, yes.